Welcome back to Trends and Friends. The Alzheimer's Association is doing virtual community education, and we show you how to do that. So I'm a clinical psychologist, and here in the Neurology Clinic at Covenant Health, I provide psychological and neuropsychological evaluation um, for adults and older adults, and I also provide psychotherapy. So typically I see patients that come into our neurology clinic, so they may have neurodegenerative disorders such as dementia, they may be having memory difficulties, cognitive concerns, or other health conditions. Finding out that you have a diagnosis of dementia can be very stressful and confusing. So I was looking for resources in the community for our patients to kind of help support them around that. So when I was looking and during this process, I actually came across the Alzheimer's Association and found out that they actually provide a lot of resources that are not just related to Alzheimer's. So you can have any type of dementia or mild cognitive impairment and there are still resources available for you through the Alzheimer's Association. So the Alzheimer's Association provides lots of different types of supports from telesupport groups to in there are about 12 different support groups that are in person in the Lubbock and Greater Lubbock area um, for folks. I'm going to be presenting in June and August for the Let's Talk Live Interactive uh, seminar series um, that gives people an opportunity to talk and interact with different professionals in the community about topics related to dementia. So what I'm going to be doing um, is it's going to be streaming online and you can actually email West Texas spelled out West and T-E-X-A-S at alz.org to be emailed a link to participate. Most of the resources available through the Alzheimer's Association are free, and so that's what makes them so great. So this is helpful for people across the spectrum. People everywhere from thinking, oh, I have some memory or cognitive concerns and haven't been given a diagnosis yet, to people that have been diagnosed with some sort of dementia or mild cognitive impairment to family members and support people. I've always wanted to apply the knowledge that I have in a practical way to help support the community. And you know, I really believe in that old saying, knowledge is power. And you know, I really wanted to help provide knowledge to people in the community. And I think the Alzheimer's Association is doing a really great job of that. They're very complicated and very complex. A lot of people think that neurocognitive disorders like dementia are just, just have to do with memory loss, but they can also be related to a lot of other types of cognitive difficulties. So attention difficulties, mood and personality changes, um, you know, language issues. So it can really impact a lot of areas of life and, and even role transitions. So, you know, your role with a family member might change um, if they're dealing with a cognitive difficulty. If you're in the community and you want to get involved or learn more about the Alzheimer Alzheimer's Association, you can go to alz.org um, and just click on Get Involved. It's as easy as that. There's everything from you know volunteering to, um, to be a volunteer for the upcoming walks that are going on to being a community educator like myself. And up next, Brahms officially opens up tomorrow when we get a sneak peek. That's right after the break. Stay tuned.